Hey everybody, Chris here. Welcome back to another episode of Woodmere Estate Revival. Down here at the house this weekend, putting down another layer of subfloor. The original subfloor was three quarter inch uh, diagonal boards that ran uh, from one corner of the house to the other. And then on top of that, they had a layer of uh, fiberboard, medium density fiberboard. And on top of that, they had carpet. Well, over the years, the fiberboard had settled, it had gotten wet, it popped. It was just a mess. And we were planning on putting down hardwoods upstairs. So we went ahead and uh, had our crew come in and pull all that MDF up and get rid of all that stuff. And we were left with the original uh, three quarter inch uh, subfloor. Now on top of that, we're putting another layer of three quarter inch plywood, putting it down with glue and screws and lots of them. We don't want any squeaks. And when he's settling, uh, we're doing hardwood floors and all the upstairs except for the bathrooms and the laundry. And so Dad and I are down here today demoing part of the ensuite bathroom where Grant's bedroom is going to be. And then we're taking the, uh, getting ready to cut some plywood and start reinforcing the subfloor. Let me show you what we're up to. So here you can see the three quarter inch board sheathing that they put down when they were framing this house. And then here are some of the new three quarter inch plywood sheathing that we're putting down on top of it. Uh, this is the master shower here, so we're leaving this. Uh, we're gonna go back with a uh, Schluter system here to make the shower. So that's gonna have its own uh, system for all the tile and everything to keep it nice and waterproof. But uh, this is the rest of the master bath here. So we went ahead and got this down. Today we've been working on the ensuite bathroom for bedroom number three. You can see we got one of the partition walls tore out, and uh, the contractor will be happy to see that. But this is why we started pulling up the old plywood and stuff, and we discovered that when they did the remodeling, whenever that was, back in the 90s probably, uh, they had cut through some of the floor joists, they had removed uh, parts of the floor joists, they had cut through some of this three quarter sheeting, and uh, there was just no real way to keep that partition wall in place, it kind of went across here and do a good job supporting uh, the subfloor and putting down the new uh, plywood subfloor. So it's been a lot of fun getting that stuff out, hadn't it, Dad? <clears throat> just a real delight. Yeah, absolutely. Filthy, nasty, full of screws and just a real pain in the butt. But uh, we took down some of the framing here that was along the chimney. You can see what's left of it up there. Uh, all that stuff had been exposed to water at some point. You can see same thing, we had uh, furring strips all along the chimney on this side that used to hold the uh, drywall. We went ahead and took all that out because all that stuff had been wet at some point. So, standing here in uh, Grant's bathroom getting ready to try to patch in some of the old three-quarter subfloor here and then we're going to go ahead and put our new three-quarter inch plywood down over top of it. Catch you guys up with an update here in just a little bit. All right, so after uh, much sawing, beating, banging, ripping, we've got a big hole in the floor. So this is where the plumbing and everything went down for the bathtub in the old master bathroom, and they managed to bore a big hole through that floor joist. And then apparently there was never a floor joist here. They had one kind of scabbed in here. It was too short. They just had it sitting on the brick with some shims. And then uh, over on this end over here, they had a a joist hanger and had just kind of screwed in there so <coughs> not ideal so we're gonna go ahead and put an extra joist in right there because <clears throat> that's where Grant's bathtub is gonna go we don't want that going through the floor and then uh, we're gonna do some blocking underneath the ends of these cut pieces here you can see there's kind of floating out in free space so we'll do some blocking there and then uh, we'll go ahead and drop our sheet of plywood in and that should get this thing buttoned up pretty nicely Think so, Dad? Yes, sir. Yeah. Unless we find some more surprises. Yeah, let's hope not. This was surprise enough. All right, see if we can get this done here. So we got our extra floor joist in now, nice and tight, and that's making up the difference here. I have no idea why they originally had it framed like that. Maybe they had one there originally, and then the whoever did the renovations knocked that thing out to put their plumbing in there. But regardless, it was poorly supported. So we got that joist in there now, and we're putting some blocking in in between the joists to catch the edge 
of the diagonal sheeting and also the uh, new piece of plywood we're going to drop in here. And once we get two more pieces of blocking cut, we'll get those uh, put into place. Then we're going to start dropping in our plywood and uh, covering up this whole place. Sounds good, right, Dan? Right. Yeah. No more surprises. No more surprises. That's what we're shooting for. All right, onward. All right, so we got uh, the last of the boards put in there. Looks pretty good. We got all of our blocking in. Got all of our diagonal sheeting anchored there. Just got the last of the uh, stuff trimmed out of the way. So now we can slide our plywood in and be done. Sounds good, right, Dan? Absolutely. All right, we're going to put the glue to it and the screws to it. And uh, this part will be but a memory. Well, this afternoon didn't go exactly as planned. Uh, there you can see the wall that used to be behind where Grant's bathtub was going to go. Uh, we had to cut that free because it turned out the uh, subfloor that was underneath it was poorly supported. And so we had to put in some additional blocking and add an additional floor joist and cut out the old subfloor and then uh, put in this new piece of plywood. So. So it took a lot longer than expected. We had to go downstairs and do some work and add an additional uh, joist down there and tie that in, but it's done. Got a lot of construction adhesive and a lot of screws in that thing. It's not going anywhere. But this section of the floor is under Grant's bathtub, so we definitely didn't want it going anywhere. You know, that's going to be uh, quite a bit of weight between the cast iron and enameled tub and, uh, you know, a tub full of water and then a growing boy. We didn't want any uh, sort of poorly supported floors underneath that. So once we get uh, some sheathing down tomorrow, well, we got to put three quarter inch sheathing across all of this uh, diagonal sheathing and the plywood. Once we get that down, then we'll be able to move that wall back in place and uh, resecure it uh, back where it was before. So made some progress, but it just wasn't the progress that I was expecting to make today. Well, as you can see, we made a real big mess down here. That's that piece of plywood that was over top of this area right here. And it was hiding the fact that uh, this framing was really jacked up. Looks like at some point when they did a renovation, uh, they had come in and maybe cut out one of the floor joists to you know, do some plumbing and then sort of semi-replaced it. Basically, they had it over here on this end of the band joist. They had it secured with just a little uh, joist hanger and some all-purpose screws. And they just had it sitting on the brick over here. And it wasn't even big enough, so they just had it kind of shimmed up. I mean, it was the biggest junk job I've ever seen. It's, but now we have a legit framing member in here. It's well secured. We've got lots of blocking in there, nice and stiff. And uh, not going to go anywhere. But uh, definitely left a big mess down here. I have to get down here tomorrow and get this all swept up and uh, cleaned up. Let's go upstairs. So that pretty much wraps up this episode. Thank you guys for hanging out. I'll be back down here tomorrow, hopefully getting three-quarter inch plywood put down across the bathroom. And then once we get done with this bathroom, then we're going to move over into the hall bath and uh, the other ensuite bathrooms. Once we get all the bathrooms done, then we're going to put the plywood down in all the bedrooms and the hallway. So. Lots of plywood go down, lots of work to be done, but uh, today we got kind of hung up on this uh, structural issue that we weren't anticipating. Uh, it had been covered up under a piece of plywood under the old porch, and we just didn't know that uh, that was going to be an issue until we started pulling some of this stuff out of here, and so all of a sudden we saw uh, that it was going to be a problem. I had to reframe some of it. So we got it taken care of. It's looking good. Uh, it's screwed and glued. It's not going anywhere. It's going to be much stronger than what, uh, what it was when we found it. So again, thanks for hanging out with us today. Be sure to hit that subscription button so you don't miss a single episode of Woodmere State Revival. Give us a like if you would, please, and uh, go down to the comments section below. You got any comments or questions about this episode or about the project in general? And as always, we would appreciate it if you would share the project with your friends and family. We got lots more action to come, so keep tuning in for all the latest updates here at the project. Talk to you guys soon. Thank you.